Hello, my wonderful Aries. I hope you all are doing amazing. In today's video, I will be tapping into the energies of those of you that are currently not in communication with your person. So as per usual, I will be starting off with an oracle and we can clarify the existing energies with tarot. Okay, let's see. For my beautiful Aries... Okay, guys, so we have uh, two cards here. The first card um, is I like you. Someone likes you. Romance is blooming. Fun flirting. Wants to date. Okay, and then we have the runner. Runner in a codependent relationship. Fear of intimacy. Listening to ego. So this is kind of two different energies here, Aries. So I wonder if like, you know, you are moving on from a past person, they're still on your mind, but you're like trying to, uh, you know, maybe date others or you're ready for some sort of change here. Like maybe you're wanting to move towards someone who is not, um, you know, going to kind of run from the relationship or someone who doesn't have a fear of commitment here. But let's see, let's clarify with Tarot. Or what could have happened is there there were, you know, there are emotions here and maybe the emotions are brewing, but you feel like your person is not ready for a commitment. Like they're not, like there are emotions, but they're not um, ready to settle down. They're not ready to commit. And maybe that's why you guys are in separation uh, with this individual. Okay, guys. So bottom of the deck, we have the uh, Queen of Pentacles, split the deck, High Priestess. Okay, hey, what's standing out to me off the bat here, guys, is it, this is either a long distance union or there's um, a difference between the both of you that is causing a disconnect here. Whether it's cultural factors, religious factors, mindset, love language, you name it, there's a difference here that's affecting this bond. Okay, could also be something to do with stability. We do see the Queen of Pentacles. Hmm. Some of you could be dealing with an Earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, or a Pisces. Yeah, this person feels like you're definitely like you know more than uh, you show right now. You're trying to use your intuition to kind of guide you through this situation. Okay. There could also be something that you predicted would happen and it actually did. So they could be shocked about your intuition as well because the high priestess is symbolic for heightened intuition. Knight of Wands is the first card. So that kind of goes hand in hand with what I was telling you guys. Knight of Wands is kind of like that runner energy. You know, um, maybe you feel like, you know, when you guys were dating, this person came in very hot and heavy and it felt very passionate, very fun, but they weren't able to maintain that energy. That's pretty much what the Knight of Wands means. Like it could be someone who's very good with their words, Aries. It could be someone who's very charming, you know, they know all the right things to say, but they don't necessarily follow through on everything that they say. And there's also an unpredictable energy attached here. So how you view this person is like, I just don't know what to expect with you, you know, like you may be telling me the, you know, something today, but I don't know what you're going to do tomorrow. Or I don't know if you're telling me something right now, just because you're telling me something I want to hear. Because again, the Knight of Wands could be someone who's very charming, someone who's very attractive. But um, when it comes to commitment, when it comes to, you know, solidifying a foundation here, they may have trouble. Okay, guys. Um, this could also be a fire sign. So another Aries like you, Leo, uh, specifically Sagittarius is a Knight of Wands energy. Okay, let's see. The Two of Wands. This person feels like they should have made a plan or they should have been thinking ahead while they were, uh, you know, involved with you. Because the Two of Wands is planning ahead. It's it's looking to the future, uh, you know, and figuring out, okay, even if I'm involved in a connection right now, what is this connection going to lead to a week from now, a month from now, a year from now? So they feel like there was a lack of planning here. Um, and there's definitely a distance, right? So this could be emotional or physical, like I said earlier, but they're pretty much focused on the distance between the both of you. Bottom of the deck here, Page of Cups and the Queen of Swords. Okay. 
Aries, here's what's going on. With the Page of Cups, right, that could be someone who is emotionally expressive. So they tell you things like, you know, I like you. And interestingly enough, you guys have the I like you card. So, you know, it could be someone who's like, I like you. And, and they tell you these, you know, very kind things. And they could be very fun to be around. But we have the Queen of Swords, which is the energy that they're perceiving you in. So I wonder if... This person was kind of like, you feel like they were telling you a lot of things to flatter you, but you wanted more consistency. You wanted something stable here. Because here's what I see, Aries. I'm going to be very honest with you. I feel like you don't have time for the small talk right now. Yeah, you mean business. And I'll tell you why. Because the Page of Cups to the Queen of Swords is a large difference. Like if you, if these two energies, like if you're going to read it in like a like a, like a real life perspective. It could be someone who is telling the opposing party very nice things and there are emotions there, but the queen of swords, you could be responding in a way of like, okay, sh you know, that's nice. And I like you too, but what are we doing here? Like, I don't want to just go back and forth with you. I don't want to just, um, you know, tell each other that we like each other and we, and we enjoy each other. I want something to come out of this situation. So, you know, this person could view you as someone who is making something very clear. It seems that you're a bit fed up or you're like agitated. Yeah, I won't lie to you. There's a little bit of like agitation on your end or you're like, I don't, I don't want to keep doing this. Like, come on, like, where is this going? Or like, do we like, how do we get to the bottom of this kind of energy is what I'm sensing from you. Um, and it's not to say that you're being rude or you're intentionally trying to be a prick, but you're getting very tired of something that's repetitive that ends up at square one all the time. Like you feel like there's a lack of progress. So how you view the situation is if we keep doing this runaround thing, if we keep going in circles, there's never really going to be a commitment or you're going to continue to tell me nice things and then run from the connection again. And I don't want to do that anymore. And if you're going to continue doing that, I'm cutting ties because Queen of Swords could be read as, uh, you know, someone who has recently went through a breakup or a divorce. Like your option right now, Aries, could be either we're going to do this where we're going to solidify the connection or I don't want anything to do with you. It's a very clear cut, uh, you know, black and white energy, if you will. And remember, when I was opening your spread, I did say there's differences that are, there's a difference here that's affecting this bond. The difference is you know what you want and you may feel like this individual says they know what they want, but their actions don't align with what they're telling you. Okay, let's see. Nine of Cups. You make this person very happy, but they have a fear of committing, guys, is what I'm getting at here. Because bottom of the deck, the Page of Swords, the Moon. What's hidden from you is this person is still keeping tabs on you. They're still very curious about you, but it's almost like you're agitated with the a lack of direct communication. So even like going back to the past and this bond here, maybe you feel like, you know, when you have a question or when you're curious about something, why can't you just ask me, you know, why do you have to, you know, go and spy on my social media or ask, you know, Tom, Dick and Harry, like you just don't want, you want this person to be more direct with you is what I'm picking up on. And with the page of swords and the moon, you know, they're trying to figure out how you're feeling or what you're up to, but not through you. So even though you guys are not speaking right now, best believe they're keeping tabs on you. And with the moon, I think what bothers you, Aries, is the uncertainty that comes with this individual or this connection as a whole, right? Because even if you feel like this connection is great when it is, but then it's it's terrible when it's when it's, you know, not going the best, you may feel like that's too on and off for you. You know, um, there's there's like a very repetitive cycle that's occurring in this bond that is starting to kind of rub you the wrong way. Nine of Cups, you may even feel like right now you need to focus on yourself, your own happiness, emotional fulfillment, Queen of Pentacles. You know what you have to offer, right? And it's like, okay, I, like the energy of the Queen of Pentacles, she's holding on to that pentacle very tightly. She's, she's, she's holding on to it and she's saying, I know what I have to offer, but if I offer you this pentacle, what will I be receiving in return? You know, will this energy be reciprocated or am I just putting my heart on the line um, for my emotions to be toyed with? That's the question here. You're like, I have no problem investing in this situation, but there's a lack of stability and that's what's creating the uh, issue here. You're like, you're kind of like, you're not giving me anything to trust in. You're not giving me anything to hold on to. Because it's not to say that you're not capable of investing in the situation. It's just you're looking at the return that you will receive. And right now, the return for you seems minimal because you're viewing them as inconsistent. Um, 
Yeah, very stressed out. Nine of swords, four of swords, two of cups. That's the thing. They feel connected to you, but there's an energy of them maybe not expressing, opening up enough, or like I said, you know, fear of commitment. What is the Knight of Wands? Four of Swords, yeah. This person's definitely spending a lot of time in solitude, uh, thinking about what caused the ending here. The Ten of Swords could be um, ending after betrayal, okay? They may feel like there's something that you're going through on your own. They're feeling like, in a, uh, like a void, like a very empty feeling. Behind the Ten of Swords is the Eight of Pentacles and the Seven of Pentacles. What can I do to work on this? What can I do differently? What could I have done differently? Um, you know, in the past here is the thoughts that are crossing your person's mind. A lot of observing going on. Um, but I will say, guys, like as they're thinking about the situation, like with the Knight of Wands upright, they may be well aware that it was their inconsistency that was affecting this bond or, you know, you guys would speak to each other, but it wouldn't be consistent. There's something about consistency here that I will say that. Um, what is the Two of Wands? The Tower. Yeah. The lack of planning or the lack of focusing on the future of this connection is what caused an ending. So it's like there was an energy of, yes, we have emotions. Yes, you know, it feels great to be with each other. But what are we doing with these emotions? Like, where is this connection really going? And so when you started to think about where this connection was headed, the fact that you felt something here felt very temporarily stable could have caused an ending. You know, the tower could be you know, an unexpected, abrupt ending, something that you weren't prepared for. Um, but it does speak about one person being more prepared than the other, right? So I feel like for some of you, you may have sensed an ending or you may have felt like, okay, I'm the only one looking at the reality of the situation. I'm the only one looking at where is this potentially headed? Because what I see here, guys, is like, Maybe you wish that there was more planning or you wish that this person would speak about the future a bit more and, and say, okay, well, this is what's going to happen next. But the fact that you felt really great when you were uh, communicating with this person, it just wasn't enough to hold this relationship because you felt like, yeah, it does feel great, but I'm not going to be invested in a situation where I don't know if it's going to last. It's like reality kicked in. Because I see that this may have been a very fun, humorous, passionate connection, but um, there is that avoidant energy when it comes to commitment from one side here. So what is the Nine of Cups? Some of you could be dealing uh, with a Scorpio. Page of Cups. You may view this person as handling something in an immature manner. Uh, the magician, the devil, the six of pentacles. Yeah, this person feels like something was in the way of them, you know, pursuing this connection with you or fully giving to this connection. The devil could be, uh, you know, um, like a lack mindset, a mindset where, you know, you, you're fearful of something not working out in your favor. But it's essentially what's going on in your mind. Um, and with the magician, I feel like it may, like on the inside, their fear or worry may have been, oh, things are not going to work out or I have a fear of commitment. But on the outside, how it came off to you was you felt like this person was manipulating um, the situation to work out in their favor. Right, guys? Like I'm not choosing sides here. Uh, truly, I'm not. I'm just expressing both perspectives. Like I could see how you may have viewed this person as maybe manipulating the situation to work in their favor, but I could also see how they have a fear of commitment because it's like they know they weren't fully, um, you know, giving to the situation because of their mindset or because they were fearing the outcome. Queen of Pentacles. Like this may be someone who like pushed you away before you could push them away. And I'm not saying you were going to push them away, but this is their mindset, right? So like when it comes to like that runner mentality or someone who is dealing with some sort of insecurities, this is how, you know, uh, they, they will respond. They will respond in a manner where it's like if they fear something, their way of kind of uh, combating that is kind of like walking away from something that they fear instead of actually facing it, right? Or saying, you know what, if I end this now, then I don't have to deal with the hurt. But in reality, maybe there wouldn't have really even been any hurt, right? But again, it goes back to mindset. Uh, what's the Queen of Pentacles? Four of Wands. Yeah, what you wanted was a commitment. What you wanted was stability, and they realize that now. 
this person views you as someone who has a lot to offer queen of wands the world the magician three of cups devil yeah this person views you as someone who has a lot to offer but they also feel like either it was like a case of self-sabotage it could have been an energy of this person not making a decision wanting to like have their cake and eat it too because a knight of wands could be someone who like keeps their options open right or they're constantly uh wanting attention but the issue with that is it's attention from multiple sources so what they were telling you versus what they were doing was not correlating here uh, what's the Four of Swords? Three of Cups. Okay, bottom of the deck here, we have the Knight of Pentacles, the Six of Cups, the Sun, the Emperor. Ten of Pentacles. For a select few of you, there could have been someone else in the mix here where they had like a like an, um, like an a choice to make with the Three of Cups energy. That's not going to be the case for all of you, but I'm just going to clarify the Three of Cups one more time. Oh, okay. So we have the Eight of Swords and we have the Queen of Cups. Oh, okay. Yeah, so for some of you, it could have been they had a choice between two people. If that's not your scenario, here's here's how, uh, or this is another way I can read the situation. This is someone, okay, they, you may feel like they were getting very close to you, they're very open with you, but when it comes to emotions or, or being vulnerable, you know, create, like being intimate, that's where their fear lies. Because with the Three of Cups and the Queen of Cups, like they have emotions for you and they may be someone who's great to, you know, hang out with and you feel like you guys are having a good time. But when it comes to being emotionally expressive, they feel very stuck mentally with that Eight of Swords. And Eight of Swords is like a self-imposed prison. And if you're like, okay, why are you telling me that? Like pretty much why I'm telling you that, um, Aries, is because your person is affected by their own thoughts. There's something that they're telling yourself in their mind and they're starting to believe it. So I'm not saying that what they're telling yourself is true, but you know, if you tell yourself something enough, you will start to believe it. Uh, what is the tower? Eight of cups. Yeah, I don't think this person expected you to walk away. Even if it wasn't you that walked away, Aries, they did not expect this separation. Again, Eight of Cups is walking away from something that feels very familiar to you. Okay, so there is a lot of chemistry here, but then the Eight of Cups also speaks about walking away from something because there's a key component missing. For you, the key component may have been commitment, right? Like, yeah, like I, I do really like you. I wish this could work, but I don't feel like you're doing anything to solidify this uh, connection. So I have to look out for myself now because I know what I bring to the table and I'm wanting stability. And if you're not wanting the same thing, as much as I desire you, I can't be stuck in a situation where the outcome is not my desired outcome. So that's kind of what you're thinking right now. What is the page of cups? Five of Swords, and we have the Fool card as well. Yeah, Wheel of Fortune. I do see things working out in your favor, especially if you guys are taking a leap of faith towards something new here with the Fool. Um, I do feel like with the Five of Swords and the Fool, like if your person is thinking about reaching out to you, they're very conflicted on what to say to you because the Fool is uh, you know, clarifying the Five of Swords and the Five of Swords is mental conflict. Um, the Five of Swords could also be letting me know that there was a conflict between the both of you leading up to this separation. You know, whether it was you expressed that, hey, like, um, I can't, you know, do with the in and out behavior or I need more consistency here or where is this really going? It's almost like when you brought up a conversation, okay, or you were trying to converse about something that was not surface level, you may have found that this person was trying to run from it. So either they were telling you, okay, right, I don't want to talk about that right now, or they were just completely avoiding it, where you were like, okay, I'm not going to, you know, chase you, I'm not going to run after you, you know, it's either you want a commitment or you don't, because I know what I want, but you don't, like there's a, there's a different, the difference here is what's, you know, causing the uh, uh, butting of heads here, if you will. So what is the four of wands? The worlds okay and the queen of wands wanted to come out as well 
Uh, ten of cups on the bottom of the deck, the three. Okay. Because we have one, two, three queens. We have three of cups, queen of wands, which many of you know that could be symbolic for a third party situation. Your person may have need, you know, um, needed to like leave someone behind or they were like, here's what I will say. If it's not about having a choice between two people, this person may have went through maybe a difficult experience in their past, but they were projecting that onto the current situation with you, where it's like, okay, something in my past didn't work out, so I don't know if you and I are going to work out. But what I will say, the main thing standing out to me is the fear of intimacy or like a non-committal energy. So let's see what this person wants to communicate to you. And with the world as well as the queen of wands like i feel like for some of you you're very determined to move on because you feel like that you, when you think about this connection or the long-term uh you know effects of this connection you don't feel like it could be stable i want to make amends right but they don't know how because with the four of swords and the eight of swords they're more mentally stuck I think they're aware of what you're able to offer them or what you guys could potentially have together, but there's a fear. Like their worry or fear may be outweighing their ability to take that leap of faith to reconcile. I know you don't feel the same. Yeah, they know your emotions have changed or they're feeling you're a bit agitated with their behavior right now. Like maybe you were very open about your emotions, but as soon as you felt like it was hitting a dead end or you felt like it, the situation wasn't going to go to the next level, you may have, uh, you know, held back or felt like, you know what, I don't want to continue expressing myself to you. Look at this, guys. I am in a committed relationship. And I did say there's three queens here and the three of cups. So for some of you, this person could definitely um, be in another relationship. Okay, and they had a choice between you and someone else, or they met you with the Knight of Wands energy, they, that could also be read as like a player energy. Whether they were in an open relationship or a committed relationship, they clearly had ties with you, and they were not able to make a decision. And this is maybe the reason why they were feeling very mentally trapped, like, what do I do? I didn't expect to fall for Aries, but now I need to, you know, make a decision. Maybe for some of you, uh, you felt very strung along where they told you they were going to make a decision, but you felt like they were not. I find you so attractive. Yeah, there could be like you could be like very tempting to this person, but you're like, that's not enough. I don't want to just be tempting to you. I don't want to be just someone that you have emotions for, but you're not doing anything about the, uh, you know, emotions here. Okay. So my wonderful Aries, that is what I'm getting for you this week. I really do hope you were able to find a message that resonated with you here today. And uh, thank you so much for your time.